Hey, this is Scott Photography Bonza.com. Today, I want to talk about having two digital SLR cameras and why it's better to buy two lower cost SLRs instead of one expensive one. I'll give you a few reasons why I think it is better. I was looking at the Nikon cameras and seeing which ones will work well together, and I decided on a D600 full frame plus a D7000 APS-C. I'll get to why specifically I went with that, or I will go with that eventually. So first off, having a backup. It's the most basic rule, you know, in any type of semi-professional or professional situation. You want a backup for your main camera, and you have to make considerations when you get a backup. You know, do they use the same batteries? How will they work well together? You know, if one is not, where one is a full frame and one is APS-C or they're both full frame, you have to make that consideration with your lenses and how they work well together. Um, but really the most important thing is a backup. Let's say your camera died in the field for whatever reason, you dropped it or something happened, then you have something with you on your person or in your car that will help you finish that job. It doesn't have to be a professional situation, it could be any type of situation. You know, it's good to have a backup. Um, next up, oh, also I should mention, let's say your camera needed to be repaired, you send it away, you don't have professional level service, you know it's gonna, going to be maybe a month or two before they finish the work on your camera, you'll be without a camera the whole time. Do you really want to wait that long just with nothing? If you have a backup, you know, you just use that instead. Next up, when you're doing videos, having multiple angles, you can set up a camera on a tripod, another one on a tripod, and you can film one forward, one to the side. That's nice to have two cameras in that situation. Could also be with, uh, can use one camera to record what you're doing and then the other one you can just use normally then you can have a behind the scenes video or something later there's so many different situations where having two cameras works well like that next one I also mentioned similar to that doing instructional videos on camera equipment I do that a lot with this YouTube channel I have one SLR recording what I'm doing with the camera and you can't really do that without just one camera unless you want to use a mirror or something but that just wouldn't work well uh, let's see next one I mentioned this before but having a full frame camera and then the APS-C camera they can potentially benefit from each other with your lens the group of lenses that you own or use rent whatever you can decide which camera it will work best on in any situation. As I said, I often use, in the, as I said in the past, I often use prime lenses and I don't want to sacrifice my ability to give, get different ranges and different perspectives. So I'll often use two cameras at the same time. Got one over the neck, one with the shoulder strap, or you can actually buy one strap that has two connections for cameras that works really well that way i can still use my primer lenses and i don't have to change them out multiple times that's a big hassle with those type of lenses i'll admit so i do use two cameras quite a bit in those situations i'll have a wide angle on one camera and then a semi telephoto you know portrait lens on another it works really well in my experience. Let's see. Next one. I'll talk about Pentax a little bit with what I used in the past. I had the most recently the K7, the K5, and the K01. The reason I went with those three, you know, as time went on, that was over a few years together. First, of course, the K7, and then I bought the K5. Um, I had actually had different cameras I started with. Uh, one of the first Pentax DSLRs was which was the Star Ist DS. 
and then went on and eventually sold them and bought new things, you know, as time goes on. But like I said, K7, K5, K01, they all use the same batteries. They all, well, the, well, the K7 and the K5 are very similar in control functionality. And the K5 and K01 are very similar in their output. They've got the 16 megapixel sensor, and I knew what to expect with the K01, both with batteries, I don't have to have two chargers, the sensor is pretty similar. Of course, K mount, you know, I didn't, I could use the same lenses with the K5 and K01. That was basically my main kit was those two cameras. The K7, I didn't use as much after a while, but worked pretty well. Um, I usually had a wide angle on the K7 and then a semi-tele lens on the K01. Actually, nothing past 85 millimeters because the K01 um, had challenges with super long lenses, but anyways, that's what I did with Pentax and with Nikon. I think I'll go with the, like I said, the D600, D7000. The thing is with those two cameras, if you buy them new, which I'm actually getting the D7000 used, but if you buy them new, you could buy a D800 for the price of those two cameras. Approximately, give or take a hundred or two. Um, so why would I go with the D600, D7000 instead of the D800? Like I said, I really personally benefit a lot from having two cameras instead of just one. With all of the big lists that I just gave you, but even more so, I can use the APS-C full frame abilities. The D7000 has a faster shutter speed, maximum shutter speed. I think it has a faster sync speed, but the D600 has the larger sensor, of course, and better video. And I think these two will complement each other very well. They have similar control layout. They have the two, the dual carded SD slots so I don't have to play with compact flash, SD. I use SD, of course, with Pentax, so that works well. I can use my old cards. Um, batteries are the same in those two cameras. That's about it. That's why I personally would prefer having two cameras instead of just one more expensive one. Thanks.